Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. The chrysanthemum is one of the most important cut flowers in the world, along with roses and carnations. The flower head is a composite inflorescence, which top the long peduncles in cymose clusters. The flowers are born on either a flat or convex receptacle and are surrounded by bracts. There are numerous inflorescence forms. The daisy-like inflorescences have female, ray flowers along the outside. Located towards the center of the flower are the bisexual disc flowers which can bear seed. Chrysanthemums are short day plants, which means they need day lengths of less than 12 hours to begin flowering. Propagation. Cuttings are taken from the terminal growth on the mother plants. These plants are exposed to long days to keep them in a vegetative phase. The cuttings, which should be 7 to 10 centimeters long, can be cold stored at 1 to 4 degrees Celsius. In order to root these cuttings, the bottoms are dipped in talc containing 0.1 to 0.2% in dull butyric acid. For optimal rooting, the ambient greenhouse temperature should be between 15 to 18 degrees Celsius, and the rooting medium should be between 18 to 21 degrees Celsius. This rooting medium should be porous, which is achieved with a mixture of perlite and peat moss. To keep the unrooted cuttings turgid, a fine mist is regularly applied. Soil Preparation Before planting, the soil needs to be steam sterilized and chemically treated with 98% methyl bromide and 2% chloropicrin. Mineral Nutrition The plants require moderate fertilizer applications of 0.5 kg superphosphate, 1 kg dolomitic limestone, and 1 kg urea formaldehyde per 10 square meters. Liquid fertilizers can also be applied specifically for nitrogen and potassium applications. The concentration should be around 200 parts per million at a pH of 5.5 to 6.5. Vegetative growth. The stock mother plants need to be kept in a vegetative growth phase under long day conditions so cuttings can be available year round. The plant is spaced in intervals of 10 cm by 12 cm. The plants are often soft pinched. When soft tissue is continuously removed in a pinch, shoot growth is increased and so bushiness is encouraged. This process also keeps plants in a juvenile phase, preventing early flower development. These stock plants can be replanted every 13 weeks after 4 to 5 flushes of cuttings have been taken. Production plants. The cuttings taken from the mother plants are used as production plants for flower growth. The cuttings are rooted and illuminated at night to maintain long day conditions. For adequate vegetative growth, day length should be 14 and a half hours long with a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. Incandescent lights can be used in winter to lengthen the daytimes. Once these plants have reached a certain height, flowering should be initiated using short day conditions. When implementing short day conditions, black sateen cloths can be used to shorten the day lengths, which is especially useful in the summer. Approximately 21 to 28 short days are required for flower initiation. Manipulating the day lengths can be used for year-round flower production, however, not all cultivars are suitable for this. Manipulation. Inflorescence quality can be improved by manipulating the photoperiod, or day length. Firstly, peduncles can be elongated during long days. Once they have reached a proper height, 12 short day cycles are initiated. This cycle is interrupted with 10 long days, after which the flowers are returned to short day conditions. Flower diameter can also be manipulated. After the 35th short day, the disbudded chrysanthemums are subjected to long day conditions to increase the ray length of the flowers. Pests and disease. There are numerous diseases and pests that chrysanthemums are sensitive to, including bacterial blight, pythium root rot and aphid infestations. Thank you for watching and see you next time.